Hi everyone, it's Jeff here from Avada with an Avada short. In this video, I will show you how to use the Avada X timeline element. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and click the bell icon to be notified of all new content. Ok, let's begin. The X timeline element, formerly the Twitter timeline element, is a simple element to help display your X feed. I've imported the construction pre-built site and here in the footer we can see the X feed in the second column. If I move to the footer layout section, we can see that this pre-built is still using the old Twitter widget. Widgets are now a legacy method, so let's replace this here with our X timeline element. I will add it here in the footer, but you could just as easily add it to a column on a single blog post layout, or anywhere else you think it'd work. Ok, as you can see it comes in with the username populated, so the first thing to do would be to add your own X username here. The next option down allows you to size the element as you wish, both width and height. Here, these columns are all one quarter columns, so perhaps this could be a little wider here. Let's try 400 pixels. Yeah, that looks about right. I think I'm happy enough with the height. The next option is language, and it's set to automatic, which will be the right option in most cases. But if not, you can specifically set the language of your choice from the drop down list. Below this are a bunch of configuration options, starting with the theme option. We have light and dark options here and perhaps this would look better as dark. Then there are options to hide or show the header, footer and borders. For this site, I might hide all three. Then there's an interesting option to have a transparent background. This will mean the timeline will completely blend with the background colour, so I will set this to yes. Then we have another show hide option for the scroll bar. With this hidden, you can still scroll with the mouse wheel, so I'm happy with that. Below this are the usual element visibility and CSS options, and we won't be using them here, so let's skip to the design tab. There are only a few options here, but I want to adjust the first option, margin, to bring this element a bit further down. So I'll add maybe 15 pixels as top margin. Yeah, that aligns better. And speaking of alignment, that's the next option, and here you can adjust the element in the column. I want to leave it left aligned in this situation. Then there's an extras tab if you want to apply some element animation, but for this example I'll leave that one alone. Ok, that's the X timeline element. I think that looks really good. Thanks for watching, and let us know in the comments how you use it. Ok, that's it for this Avada short. If you have any questions or need assistance, please create a support ticket and our team will gladly assist you. As always, we want to thank you for choosing Avada.